So what happens when you mix AI and fishing together? You get your first ever robotic fishing lure, and we're gonna be testing it out today. Well guys, today we are gonna be getting out and about testing the first ever robotic jerk bait that I've seen on the market. This is a really unique and cool design by iBobber and Real Sonar. Now, what is unique about this lure is it is a vibrating and flashing jerk bait. What does that mean? It has a green pulsing light and a pulsing vibration that is activated when it is actually in the water. On top of that, it is a rechargeable jerk bait or rechargeable lure in general that you simply just plug into a USB drive and you're ready to charge. Some of the basics of this lure is it's gonna be a four foot diving jerk bait. It's gonna be coming in at four and a half inches, five eighths ounce and three mustad sharp hooks. So now that we've talked a little bit more about this lure and a little bit about the specs, let's get out there, start fishing it. Got a nice steep slope. Sun is coming down, so this might be an ideal time for these fish to get their munch on. Dude, this bait, it just, it moves so crazy. Every time I see it, it just gets me excited. I know if a fish sees this thing, it is not even gonna think twice, it's going after it. You can feel this thing vibrating pretty well too. It's uh, like a pulsing vibrate, it's a bzzz. pause. Pause. It kind of reminds me of working like a chatterbait or um, like an extra. Oh, oh, oh! My drag's not set. My drag's not set. My drag's not set. Oh yeah. Let's go. What did I just say? What did I just say? We're gonna find a flat where it's gonna work. Oh my goodness. Look at this, this fish is going crazy over this thing, guys. Careful, careful. These hooks are super duper sharp, man. I gotta be so careful. Look at that, first fish on our jerk bait, man. He smoked, and I wanna say like fourth, fifth cast. Just working on the edge, like I said, I thought I hit the bottom right now, freaked out. And uh, hey, we hit a fish. There's like a, a time of the year right before spawn where jerk baits are just dynamite, man. These fish are feeding on everything they can see and there's tons of bluegill in the water. And uh, you know, that's what I'm hoping right now we just found is like key jerk bait time of the year. So get this guy back in the water, first fish, completely done. I have a feeling we're just getting started though. All right, hold up guys. I don't normally do this, but today we have a huge giveaway. Over five winners with a total of $750 in prizes will be given away at the end of today's video. So make sure you stick around and find out what you need to do to enter in this giveaway. So if you guys aren't familiar with jerk baits, like I said, my favorite way to fish it is just your natural twitching method. Uh, but if you are not fishing at the twitch method, you can reel and burn, you can reel and pause, or you can even straight retrieve. A lot of times I know people who fish salt water and they say jerk baits are ideal for just retrieving because they stay in that center water column. You pass by like a hungry snook, a redfish, those things do not even think twice. Speckled trout, anything like that. They're just gonna instantly hammer a bait like this. Uh, the colors, patterns, and just the unique design of this lure um, I can see this thing being great in uh, in salt water. Oh, I, I heard it. Like, it is probably. Remember, don't you have a, a line that's frayed up or a eyelet that's frayed? Oh, oh my God! Oh no, he let it go. I was just talking to you. Oh my goodness, dude, he hammered that thing. Oh my God! No, dude, that was not. Right? Dude, that was like that. that was like a solid like four or five pound fish, dude. Yeah, you heard the line like raw, dude. Oh, dude. dude, that is wild. That guy, I was just talking to you. I had to completely pause. Yeah. And then I just felt my line tighten up, man. Wild. That's that's what I was trying to tell you guys earlier, man. These fish will bite on that pause. You just gotta let it sit. Oh no. Oh, oh he's back. Oh he's back. Another pause hit. Another pause hit. Let's go, boys. Let's go. You hear that? You hear that vibration? Yeah. That vibrating? He had still his fish. Stoked, bro. There wasn't denying a fish on that one, man. Those hooks were not playing that second time. Uh oh, Jimmy's on one. Jimmy's on one. Let's go, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, dude. dude. Cheers. They're like the same Cheers. size. Well, well, release them together, man. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers again. We found him feeding. Well, Jimmy gets feed. here. He brings the fish with good luck. All right, guys, that is back-to-back -back hits on that pause. Long, long pause. And I want there to be a little bit of drag to pull now, so that way they, these fish, if they run with it, they don't pull it out of their mouth. They kind of set the hook themselves, you know what I mean? So one thing I'll talk about, guys, is 
if you want to get a, a jerk bait bite on right it's important to have a medium action rod or something a little bit more sensitive a little bit more bend in that rod so when these fish bite those treble hooks and try to run with it uh, because of a reaction strike no way, no way dude. yes yes you know? i'm just trying to tighten my drag at the same time i was just talking about how i need to keep my drag a little loose because these fish are biting it on the pause oh my god it fought like a big and it's just another little right there at the end right there at the end i flipped them too hard towards me okay. that's wild dude i was just talking about it you want to have that dialed in just right these fish man i gotta i gotta fight them a little bit more i didn't realize that uh they were gonna be that aggressive today that's already like four bites for me two fish landed typical me though where i can't actually get them on land right here both of them i lose them the only thing about the pause hit is they're not hitting the hooks as ideally as i want them to you know yeah. compared to me there we go oh yes yes that's a big boy that's a good boy i'm telling you dude i found them feeding i found what they want potentially fish number five fish number three guys it is turning on man yeah it is another little male that's what Jimmy's calling out real quick, guys. If you guys are not familiar, it's that pre-spawn. Males are starting to feed up, so that way they can guard the bed so the females can kind of do their whole spawn business then swim off. And you can tell the difference, honestly, by the size of their mouth. Females got the big mouth, the males got the small mouth. It's one real big indicator. There's a few other indicators, but that's usually what we use to indicate which is a male and a female, so. <laughs> Let's go! Man, the bite is on right here. Maybe it's that flash and the vibration that's really getting them, you know what I mean? It is darker down there, that, that flashing green and that vibrating noise when I have it on that pause. They're just like, what the heck is that? Dude, get it! Oh, last second. Dude, these fish are just coming up last second and nailing this thing, dude. They're feeding like crazy. All good sized bass too, like all one plus, maybe twos. Yeah. Like solid fish, man. Another guys, another. We're on them. We found it. We found the jerkbait bite. Oh, dude, right away. First cast. <laughs> Let's go. Same size, same look, orange eyes, yellow belly, mean, aggressive fish. No way. Dude, that's a tank. That is wild. Oh my God, double double. Same type of fish. Back in the water. Well guys, that is gonna be it for today's video, but before we finish, let me tell y'all about this awesome giveaway we got going on, compliments of iBobber and Real Sonar. We're gonna be giving away five different packages containing the items in front of me. It is gonna be a depth finder, a scale, five different electronic jerk baits, a hat and a t-shirt, all compliments of iBobber. All you gotta do is get on over to my Instagram post, Follow the instructions in the giveaway post. It's that simple. You will be entered and have a chance of being one of five winners to receive over $750 in prizes. That is right, guys. Over $750 compliments of real sonar and iBobber. Big shout out to those guys. But that is going to be it for today's video, guys. Just wanted to end on a good note. Also, if you are interested in picking up any of these items, these jerk baits, these scales, this depth finder, anything like that, I'm leaving links below for realsonar.com. Get on over there, take a look at it for yourself, and see what you want to pick up. But that is be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and we'll catch y'all in the next one.